Today is Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. Welcome to today's daily prayers. Our theme this week is chosen by God. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created us, called us, chosen us to be your people. We wait now to receive your word of guidance and blessing. Grant unto us ears to hear, eyes to see, and faith to respond to your love and leadership. In the name of Christ, amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 126. When true life changed Zion's circumstances for the better, it was like we had been dreaming. Our mouths were suddenly filled with laughter. Our tongues were filled with joyful shouts. It was even said at that time among the nations, true life has done great things for them. Yes, true life has done great things for us, and we are overjoyed. True life, change our circumstances for the better. Like dry streams in the desert waste. Let those who plant with tears reap the harvest with joyful shouts. Let those who go out crying and carrying their seed come home with joyful shouts, carrying bales of grain. Our daily scripture is Genesis 9, verses 8 through 17. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I am now setting up my covenant with you, with your descendants, and with every living being with you, with the birds, with the large animals, and with all the animals of the earth, leaving the ark with you. I will set up my covenant with you so that never again will all life be cut off by floodwaters. There will never again be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, this is the symbol of the covenant that I am drawing up between me and you and every living thing with you on behalf of every future generation. I have placed my bow in the clouds. It will be the symbol of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will remember the covenant between me and you and every living being among all the creatures. Floodwaters will never again destroy all creatures. The bow will be in the clouds. And upon seeing it, I will remember the enduring covenant between God and every living being of all the earth's creatures. God said to Noah, this is the symbol of the covenant that I have set up between me and all creatures on earth. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. 
Thanks be to God. God established this covenant, not only with Noah and his family, but with all living things. God cares for all life in this creation, and so should we. What are some simple things you can do to better care for creation? What can you do to promote creation care on a larger scale? The bow God places in the sky, which we see as a rainbow, represents God's weapon, as in a bow and arrow. God has set aside God's weapon against humanity and all life. Instead, God seeks to be in loving relationship with all of creation. How does this affect your image of God? What feelings do you have when you see a rainbow? Does it remind you of God's love for you and for all creation? Our reading today comes from The Reasons of the Heart by John S. Dunn. There is a dream dreaming us, a bushman once told Lawrence Vanderpost. We are part of a dream, according to this, part of a vision. What is more, we can become aware of it. Although we are far removed from the Bushmen and their vision, it seems we can indeed come to a sense of being dreamed, being seen, being known. Our mind's desire is to know, to understand, but our heart's desire is intimacy, to be known, to be understood. To see God with our mind would be to know God, to understand God. But to see God with our heart would be to have a sense of being known by God of being understood by God. If there is a dream dreaming us, it will be God's vision of us. And if we have a sense of being part of that dream, it will be our heart's vision of God. 
Nicholas of Cusa in his vision of God, while speaking of our vision of God, speaks even more of God's vision of us. He has it that our seeing God consists of our having a sense of God seeing us. To see God is to see one who sees. It is to have an experience of being seen. It is like looking at one of those portraits, he says, where the eyes are so contrived as to follow the beholder wherever he moves. No matter where the beholder stands, the eyes of the portrait seem to be looking at him. Or better, we could say, it is like feeling the gaze of another person, feeling the gaze without seeing the other's eyes. Or it can be like meeting the gaze of another. Or it can even be like looking into the eyes of another and seeing there the pupil, the pupilla, the little doll, the tiny image of oneself reflected in the other's eyes. Let us pray. God, thank you for your love. Thank you for your promise to never send the floodwaters to destroy all of life again. Thank you for the ways you care for us and for all creation. Help us to love and respect creation and to provide the care it needs to flourish and heal. Bless the plant life of this planet, God. Help it to be healthy so that it can do its work of providing food, oxygen, and other gifts to the animal life including us humans. Teach us to respect our need for plants and so to care for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the animal life of this planet, God. Thank you for those animals who provide food, for those who provide service, for those who provide companionship, and for those who simply add to the beauty and diversity of creation. Help us to honor and respect all animal life and to provide the care they need to thrive and fulfill their role in creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the elements that make life on this planet possible. The sun, the moon, the rivers, the mountains, the plains, the farmlands, the cities, all of it, God. Help us to recognize the importance of these elements to our lives and so to care for them too.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this benediction. May the peace of God fill your heart, mind, and activity all this day long. Amen. Go in peace.